it's an escape from my reality. And the more you keep asking for what I can't give, the more uncomfortable I feel. What are you running away from? From empty promises. From being shattered and left to pick up the pieces by myself. That's what. But I will not do that. You can't. You don't know that. Listen carefully, because this movie will carry you go where you don't know. It all started with Adil begging the mother to let him follow after his heart. He has spent enough time studying law because of the mother, but now he wants to go for banking. Sweetheart, would you like to talk about this? The mother wants her husband to support her on this. Now, guess what? Father simply says, Son, it's a sheer waste doing something you'd rather not. The father actually supports his son's choice. Adil won this round. Now his aunt, Aunt Kafil, enters. They exchange pleasantries, he calls her his favorite auntie, and then the women resume their daily gossip while Adil leaves. So Adil's brother drives him to a training camp hosted by Sterling Bank. On the way, he informs Adil that his friend Lina is pregnant. First of all, it's unplanned, it was a one-night drunken sex. Second of all, she also has another boyfriend called Greg. She wants to remove the pregnancy but he insists that their family does not like that. Adil just laughs at him that, why will you copulate without protection with someone you don't intend to have a baby with? Now, getting to the camp, they got down from the car, he bid his brother goodbye and that was the first time Adil set his eyes on the beautiful Adina again. And right this moment, the whole big love begins. Quick disclaimer, this recap is for educational purposes only. Big Love is directed by the amazing Biodun Steven. This recap is not meant to replace the original movie, neither should it stop you from watching the full movie on primevideo.com. Also, this recap contains heavy spoilers. If you are just joining us, you should definitely subscribe and turn on the notification icon. Hi, this is Sam. Welcome to the Film Village Hub. Remember, I said this is the first time he set his eyes on her again. I said again because they actually attended the same university. Several times during the orientation, Adi tries to get close to Adina, who hasn't even noticed his presence. But each time he tries to go close, the staff just keep busting his bubbles. Ah, this thing can't pain, eh? Well, Adil decides to be patient about it. I shall, I will get you. He must get this girl. So one day, at a morning workout session, he finally had the chance to talk to Adina when the coach asked them to partner up. Oh, hi. Adina, right? Yes, she calls him Adio. Actually, it's Adil, not Adio. Oh, Adina says she thought his name is Adio. That's why she has been calling him Adio. Well, it's been three years. You look good and different. Different? For her, you look different immediately means something negative. Don't worry, you'll get to see why she's like this later in the movie. Okay, so Adil asks if she wants to go for breakfast. Sure. Finally, for Adil, things are starting to fall into place. Now, while having breakfast, Adil's phone rings. Guess who? It's his girlfriend. Ha! Adil is honest about the call to Adina. He says, It's my girlfriend that just returned unannounced from Rwanda. She was on a film business or something. Adina then asks him, Why don't you sound like an excited boyfriend? Adil says, Let's say we are having issues. See the high role Adina gave him. Eh? Issues score. Adil says, Seriously, we are in a complicated relationship right now. Adina says, nah, lie. Those words are just licensed to cheat. Then her own phone rings. Adil asks her if that is her boyfriend. She just walk away to receive the call. But we hear her saying, hi, honey. After class the next day, others leave, but Adina stayed back. Clearly, she doesn't really understand what she's learning. Adil meets her that he would like to be her partner for the next project. So are you sure you will put in the work? No be monkey go the work and baboon go the chop -o. To our foreign audience, it simply means, I don't want to do the work while you enjoy the benefits. Also, Adina says she's a philosopher dabbling into banking, so she knows nothing about banking. Adil also says he also studied law and now jumping into banking. Anyway, Adil swears that he will put in the work a thousand percent. Alright, they get to work and Adil begins to get closer. Several times when Adina is receiving calls from her eye honey, Adil tries to at least have an idea of who the guy she's talking to is, but she kept hiding his identity. Who is she dating gun? Who? who is this guy? Now, Adina and Adil actually read and prepared a lot, but sadly at their first presentation, Adina flopped. She failed to meet up to what they practiced. 
Adil kept trying to cheer her up not to worry about it. Okay? So now Adil on the other hand has a good brain for this. He is so smart that even impromptu questions does not scare him. Adina is actually impressed with this guy. Don't forget, nothing romantic is happening between them yet. At least, they both know they have their own person. Well, Adina knows he has, but he is not sure if she really has a boyfriend. Maybe Adina is just pretending to have a boyfriend, Seth. So one night at the park, Adil complains about his problem with his girlfriend. She doesn't want me and she doesn't want to let me go. Now, Adina the philosopher advised him on what to do about it. Then Adil's brother calls. Excuse me. Hello, bro. Slow down. Huh? She did that? Poor Lina. Now, while she is talking, Adina is curious. What's going on? Then he says, I'm actually at the park eating chicken with Adina. <gasps> Those words made her eyes lit up. Wait, she's like, So this guy is not ashamed to tell his brother or family about me. <laughs> Wait, your brother knows about me. She's also impressed again. But then, she sees that Adil's mood drops. Are you okay? He says, mm, Yes, it's the call he just received. Then she asks, What happened? Adil says, His brother got a girl pregnant and he doesn't want her to abort it. And now their mother has heard about it and she insists that they must get married officially. In fact, she has met with Lina to tell her directly that she must not abort the baby because her grandchild cannot go to another man's hand. Now keep this in mind, we will get back to it. Adil's mother is the type of mother that doesn't want someone else taking care of another man's child. In a sense, she is everybody must carry their own load kind of mother. But wait, everything Adil just said about their mother is actually a good thing. So why is he looking at it as if it's a problem? Adina kept thinking about what Adil just says. But we noticed something here. Did something like this happen to Adina in the past too? Who is Adina by the way? We are yet to know anything about her. All she could say to Adil was, some have food but cannot eat. Now, if you were in your brother's shoes, what will you do? Adil says, ah, while having unprotected sex with someone you don't want to have a baby with in the first place. Adina says she needs to call her boyfriend. Adil Yabza, see this you and this your faceless boyfriend, eh? He has no name. I haven't even heard his voice before. See, pack up, let's go. Then Adil says, I really like you, Adina. See, let's go. Then Adil screams again. I said, I really like you. What is wrong with you? Let's, sorry. Pepe, it's quite... Now, at their next project presentation, Adina has improved, wowing the panel, and Adil is even excited about it. In fact, that night, he asked her to come celebrate it with him. He has prepared a small, special dinner date for her. Now they are having a good time, Adina teases him that all these butty children and their date date sha. Adil says, I am not butty, saying it in the buttiest way ever. Now during their conversation that night, Adil says, no one will know that they both went to the same private university. Adina says, wait till it's different. You went there because your parents have the money. But I went there based on scholarship donated by my mom's church members. How about your dad? She says her dad died while she was young and her mom died shortly after. So the church members have been sponsoring her education and as long as she is serious and get good grades, oh, no wonder she cried when she flopped during her first project presentation. So the conversation got steamy, Adil says he would like to know her, ask her questions. What would you like to know? Okay, Adil asks, do you like me? Adil moves closer to her and as they were about to kiss, chai, the rain starts, spoiling the night for them. <laughs> Psych? No, Adina was about to get up then falls on Adil's groin area where his rod is located. Then they begin to kiss and, you know, the rod parted the Red Sea. I'm sure you know what I mean. Let's move on. The next day, Adil wakes up strong. Yeah, I mean, strong. He meets Adina at the park again. but. We hear her say, I love you on the phone. Then, bye, honey. Hmm. Then Adil had to ask if that's her boyfriend. She says, No. But is there a boyfriend? She says, uh, That should not bother you. In fact, there is no boyfriend. Okay, wait, guys. Between you listening and me speaking, who do you think she is telling those, I love you, hey, honey, hi, honey, bye, honey, to? Do you think she has a child? Well, let's continue. We'll find out. 
Later, we see her with her friend talking about where they wish to be posted after the training camp. They say they are sure she and her deal will be sent to Lagos since they are among the top 10 best. And Dina says she wants Ibadan. Ibadan. While everyone are looking to be posted to big cities like Abuja, Lagos, Port Harcourt, you are here talking of Ibadan. There must be a reason why she wants Ibadan. A child? Well, that's if she have a child, of course. Then her phone rings. It was an urgent call from Karen. Now that night, Adil came to pay her a visit, bringing wine. He is trying to get cozy, but notice that Adina is not feeling good. She is sounding worried. Now, as usual, he assures her that everything will be all right. He gives her a hug and then says he has a confession. What's the confession? He explains that he has been attracted to her since their university days. He even mentioned a party that he attended and saw her but couldn't approach her. Why? He says he thought he is not a type. Hmm. And now, are you? Adil says, uh, you tell me. She says, maybe. Then Adina says something. I hope you know all this is just us fooling around, Sha. Adil says, hey, he doesn't fool around though. He closes the door. Uh, I guess you know what's next now. Then the next day, they receive their posting letters. So, what is it? Oyo states, Adina is so excited she's going back home to Oyo. Adil is sad that he, on the other hand, is being posted to Abuja. Now, why is he sad? Now, he is sad because he will be far from Adina. Then, Lola, his girlfriend, calls him. He tells her not to call him again, that he now have another girlfriend. Eh? Hey? Adina says, but I'm not your girlfriend. Okay, do you want to be? She says it won't work. Oh. He says it can. He can be coming to visit her every weekend. Everything Adil is wishing for, Adina is just saying the opposite of it. Like, she doesn't want it to work out. Then Adina says, this is just an escape from my reality. She can't give him what he is asking for. She doesn't want a man of empty promises that will shatter her and leave her alone to pick up the pieces by herself. Wait, wait, wait. Is this why you failed the project on purpose? So you can be posted back to Ibadan? We did the project together. I got an A. How then did you get a D? Oh, we were shown a flashback of Adina actually deleting her essay and intentionally failing so she can be posted to Ibadan. Wait, now what is in Ibadan exactly that you are desperately trying to get back to? Are you married? She says no. Then she leaves her deal. So next, we see her start a new job at Ibadan branch of Sterling Bank. So her friend asks her about her deal and she says, ah, my deal is fine. In fact, he is talking about love already. The friend advised her to quickly give him a chance. She says no. Now, even though Adina is in Ibadan for a reason, she truly likes Adil. Several times she thinks about him and about their last night together when she gets to thank him for sharing himself with her. Even Adil cannot stop thinking about that night. Now, while they are on phone one day, Adil kept talking about getting a transfer to Ibadan to meet Adina. Ha! Because of woman or girl, Adil says, I miss you, I love you. But Adina only replied the I miss you. Then we hear something break at the sitting room. Adina quickly rushed to check, shouting, Jaden! Wait, I think this is a proof she has a son, right? Or are we still in doubt? Well, let's continue. Now, while Adina was at home, we see her dressed like a clown. Adil arrives to surprise her by coming to her house all the way from Abuja. Wait, how do you know my house? As she goes to check if he is the one, ah, yes, it's Adil. Then, the son comes calling, Mommy, Mommy, oh yes, she has a son. This is what she has been hiding. Adil plays along as if he is not surprised, even calling the boy a superstar, playing with the boy like his own son. Now, the challenge that night is this. After Adil has promised to take care of Jaden like his own, Adina is still worried that his parents will not approve of their relationship. She is a single mother, and you said it yourself. Adil is speechless and Adina walks away. Now, seeing her every day at work is just too pleasing to Adil. This lady is stunning, just like the stars meant to brighten the sky and so on and so forth. He comes to her several times, begging her to give him a chance, using every opportunity he has to make her smile. Oh, love. Hi. Well, let's continue. Now, Adil gets familiar and closer to Adina's son. Jaden, even taking pictures of them together in bed with the quote, 
this is the forever I want with you. Adina says, the forever you want with me is impossible since your mother is the, you remember? Someone else should not take care of another man's child kind of woman. This is why Adina is rejecting all those proposals. She doesn't want a situation whereby Adil will have to choose between his family and her. So one day, to my surprise, Adil's mother and sister came to visit Adina. Where is he? Where is who? The little boy then comes out running. The mother hugs him. They kept playing with him. Adina was like, what is going on? Adil kept signaling to her, relax, please relax, just be patient. How old is he? Adil says, three, and going to four. Three, Adil, shame on you. I know some of you can sense what is happening, right, Abby? Yes, Adil told his mother that he is the father. He says he got Adina pregnant three years ago. He lied so that the mother can accept Adina as a single mother. Who? Oh, Adina quickly asked to speak with Adil privately. She understands what is going on and she's furious about it. Adina changed jam for Adil. Why would you tell them such a lie? Now, please go back and tell them the truth. Adil says, no, 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 no. She says she will go and tell them herself. Oh. And she was about to go out and Adil pulls her. She drags herself out of the sitting room. But getting there, Jadin has slept off in the woman's hand. She couldn't cause the chaos that she had planned. Grandma then takes the boy in. Then she asks Adina to sit down and please tell her the truth about the boy. Did Adil deny this boy? Now, this is an opportunity for Adina to tell this woman the truth. Instead, she um she wants um uh, um she just played along with a lie. The mother then says she will be taken care of and then invites her to come visit them so she can meet Adil's father. Adil thanks Adina for playing along with the lie, but she says, Why this big lie? Adil says it's because he loves her. Adina says she really likes him too and she wants this to work but this lie is too big. Now what if the father of the boy now comes back? Wait, that's true. What if Jaden's real father now shows up? Hmm. Adil says he will not come back. He already doesn't want anything to do with you and the boy. He convinced her until Adina finally agreed to completely play along. On the Sunday, Adina and Jaden is to come visit. Grandma has packed the house full of family members to introduce her grandson to. It was a welcome party to remember. Hi, Jaden was shown his own special room. All went well, even though Adina is obviously still scared. And yes, with good reasons. She even asked Adil if they would have loved her still if they knew the truth about her son. Adil tells her not to worry about anything anymore. So one morning, Adil's father gets to talk with Adina. He got to know her a little and also help her get another job in advertising since she says that is what she has passion for, not banking. Adil's mother is preparing for her 55th birthday celebration and she asks Adina to be the one to select the Ashwebi for the occasion. Later, Adil tells Adina that he wants a baby. Baby, why the rush? Are you dying or what? Wait, I'm rushing? That statement angers Adil a lot and he leaves her. Now, for three days, Adina had to keep begging Adil for making that statement. Now, on the birthday part, a surprise is coming, so please wait for it. Adil and his brother goes to meet Adina. She was sitting with her mom. Adil then asked the auntie if her son, Lade, will be coming. She says no, he has a business engagement. He says he won't be coming. So, Adil's brother has gone to collect the mic from the MC. Adina, Adina, Adil has something to tell you. And yes, will you marry me? He proposed on his mother's birthday. Blushy, blushy. Everybody starts asking her to say yes, say yes. Adina looks up and she saw a guy walking. Wait, something is wrong. Adil calls her. Adina, Adina, she answers his call. Yes. And they took that yes to mean she said yes to the proposal. Everybody starts celebrating. But wait, who is this guy that just walked in? Oh. It's auntie's son, Lade, that she says won't be coming. Wait, Lade was Adina's ex, the father of Jaden. For a while, Lade played along like there's nothing wrong. Adina is totally confused slash angry slash speechless, getting carried away most of the time. What is this guy doing here? Then Lade bursts the pipe open, telling them everything that has happened between him and her. But one thing is sounding wrong here. Lade says, Adina has been texting him, harassing him that he is the father of Jaden. 
but he is sure he's not because the only time he had sex with her, they used protection. Oh, wait, does that mean if Lade is not the father, then who is the real father of Jaden? Or wait, is it Lade and Lade is just lying about it? Now, Adil comes out to meet them not knowing that Kasala don't bust. But upon finding out, he punched Lade and they both started fighting. Adina left the place crying. She locks herself in a room to cry about it. So the next morning, they gather for a family meeting. Mother asks, where is Adina? They say, ah, Adina has left too. Left? Left. And she says, with my grandson, ah, 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 ah. Ooh, who is your grandson? These women started loudly arguing about whose grandson the child is. Then the father asked that Adil should tell him the whole truth. He explained and he also told them the reason why he lied about it. The father says, hmm, he did an honorable thing, but he should tell him who is the real father of the child. Adil says that Adina told him the father of the child is called LD. And he jumps in, LD, Lade now, it's obvious now. Lade kept insisting that the boy is not his until a DNA test is carried out. Ah. Adil also explained further that he told this lie because of the mother. I know how you feel about single mothers. I know how messy it was for Auntie Kafil as a single mother. <laughs> Auntie starts crying. Thank you, my son. Thank you. The mother says, no, Adil. I would have accepted her anyway. Adil's brother jumps in. Really, mom? Oh, so that means I don't have to marry Lina. Are you mad? The scene is very funny, I swear. And then a shocker. The video of the fight the other night has gone viral online that a lady, Adina, tried to pin a child on another man. Ha, wahala. You see what you have caused? You see? Another round of fight starts again. Ah, please stop now. These boys have started again. Oh, ah, oh God. The father was just looking at them. He didn't say anything. Adina was giving time off from work to fix up her mess. She would stay alone in her room crying while reading the terrible messages of fear women, hashtag fear women comments from people on that video. And she seriously counseled her son, Lade, for the terrible way he treated Adina. You slept with her. And as soon as she told you she is pregnant, you sent her derogatory messages. Now, despite that the girl did not offend him in any way, why would you do that? What is wrong with you? She then vows that he must fix this. You won't believe that Lade is still insisting that this child is not his own. Adil was finally able to meet Adina. Adina says, it's over. Jaden is my child. If your family think they want to fight me for my child, I will die on the line fighting for my baby. He is mine, not yours, and not his. She says she can't do it anymore. Adil kept begging, but nope. Adina has made up her mind. It's truly over between them. Adil tells his brother that he is also tired of chasing after her. He loves her too much and it hurts that this is happening to him. The brother asks him not to give up, but nope. Adil has also finally accepted his fate. It's over. Amir, Adil's brother, quickly texts their father to please help Adil out. And yes, the father calls Adina to ask if he can come visit Jaden. She tearfully says yes. And also, he reassures Adina that she is always welcome to their house. She is part of them. The parents then send a video apology to Adina, also making Lade apologize publicly for what he did. Jaden then used his mother's phone to call Adil, telling him he misses him and also inviting him to come to their father's day party at school. Adina's friend, Karen, kept advising Adina to go back to Adil. Uh -uh, he swam several oceans just for you. Why can't you just swim this small swimming pool for him too? He has done a lot for you. Adina then summons the courage to call Adil herself, inviting him for the father's day. He says he can't come. Actually, he is right not to go. Father's day is not worth it if Adina doesn't officially let him to be Jaden's father. So, now, after the school's Father's Day celebration, while Adina and Jaden were hugging, Adil walks up behind them. As she turns back, Gege, Adina is shocked. I didn't think you were going to come. Thank you for coming. Adil gives Jaden the gifts he brought for him and then he says goodbye. Now, while going outside, he slowed down a bit, waiting for Adina to come meet him. But getting outside, ah. Uh -uh. Adil's parents and Lade are already outside with matching polo. Now on their clothes, they wrote, Ask me again, you fool, to marry you. Oh, Adil read it and he understand. Adina is asking him to ask her out again. Quickly, of course now, Adil says, yes, yes, he will marry her. And they both hug and kiss. 
This is a big love. But wait, who is Jaden's father? Whose child is Jaden again? Is it Lade or someone else? Everybody answered, it's our child. Okay then, case closed. And then the movie ends. So, what do you think about this movie? Big love can sometimes be a reason for big lie, don't you think so? Nonetheless, let's love rule. And please, pray to have an understanding family like this. So, hmm. Can I hear a loud amen, please? I love you guys. Thank you for watching this recap. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I am Sam and this is the Film Village Hub.